the man I watched and admired growing up is in the news for divorce. I'm like, why such a big stir on social media? Divorce happens every day. The church community is having a conniption fit. Maybe it's because people think his dealing with Paula White may be the reason for the divorce. After all, according to the article, they were caught holding hands coming out of a hotel in Rome. But Benny Hinn responds in an article stating, That's not the reason. We were just friends. I hear you, Benny. But that's not a good look. That appearance looks very ungodly. I'm just saying. Maybe Benny Hinn wanted to take the heat off him because he responded in an article and said, This lady is crazy. The article says she was addicted to prescription drugs. Now this one resonates with me the most. The famous televangelist stated he was so caught up into his ministry that he forgot his family. I can kind of get with that a little bit. This is exactly why Paul said in 1 Corinthians 7.33, He that is married should be concerned about pleasing his wife. If not, it's going to be a problem. So in other words, Benny wasn't utilizing balance between the ministry and his home life. That's where a lot of preachers go wrong. Benny was also teaching on marriage. Now whom the Lord joins together speaks of a spiritual union, not just something physical. A lot of people marry without having that oneness in the spirit with their wife or their husband, and that's why they have problems. And then it says something very powerful. It says in verse 22, And the rib which the Lord God had taken from And now involved in the dissolution of the marriage? That's also not a good look, Pastor Benny Hinn. You were promoting it. You were preaching it. Now what you're doing is the very opposite of what you preach. I know we all mess up, and I know we all go through different times in our lives where we thought we would never experience something and wind up doing it. That's why I say I would pray that I would or wouldn't do that, or if it's the Lord's will, because you never know, because life be life in. And this is why the world doesn't really respect the church. Because we preach one thing and you look at our lifestyle, it's completely different from what we preach. The message is not consistent and that's a big problem. Thank you for coming by. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section.